Biafra, UN, EU, others told to visit Onandi Kano in DSS custody. Real trouble for Nigeria because when they visit the DSS custody, eh, you know, say Nigerian prison, a real prison indeed. Oh. If they show you, say, the person eh, in the prison. You know, there are other um, correction facilities all over the world. If you, I don't know. If you've traveled outside this country, for instance, or you've had the opportunity to watch them in movies, you will see how people in correction facilities, some even say they don't want to be freed. Even after they've spent the, the, you know, the duration of their sentence, they'll be asking. I watched a movie recently. The man, I think he committed murder when he was quite young and it was time for him to leave. He said, how will he cope? outside because in that place he has been rehabilitated he got to start working in the library he had opportunity to call the only family he had left that would pick his call he makes some money he sells cigarettes inside i mean somewhere in the u.s is a movie though but real life nigeria oh my dear 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 20 people in one room scrapping for dirty and everything the food oh dear you know, but nobody prays to stay in prison, so it's not um, a contemplation to say whether uh, prison life is good and all that. But I'm just trying to paint a picture that, you know, it could be better. Okay, they could have a better, you know, facility. Let's get all the details. Biafra, EU, UN, others told to visit Nande Kano in DSS custody. Human Rights Association of Nigeria has asked the United Nations to visit Onandi Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra in the custody of the Department of State Security Services, DSS. The right group said it was worried by some reports and allegations of torture being made by the detained I made on the detained IPOB leader following the persistent complaint by Kano to his lawyer of maltreatment in the cell of the DSS, which have constantly been denied by the agency. Human Rights Association said it was now important that the UN, through her country representative, pay a monitoring visit to the detention, the facility of the DSS, to ascertain the versatility of or otherwise of these continuous allegations complained by the IPOB leader and see for themselves the quality of where he is, if that is where a human being should be. The Human Rights Association said that there are allegations that the secret police is flogging, is, is flogging Nandi Kanu and flaunting with Justice Binta order that it would allow Kanu to change his clothes. Can you believe he has not changed his clothes for long, for long and has continued to starve on Andy Kanu? According to the leader, the human rights activist, Ejofo, has also complained of other things being done to this young man while in the, in the DSS facility. Human Rights Association said the discontinuous Acceptance of truth by DSS needs to be checked by other bodies and other people, which is the creation of what the law should be, yet this law is not honored in Nigeria. The binding order of the court and competence of the jurisdiction is being flaunted by the DSS. For this reason, the group said it was urging the United Nations, the European Union, the British Commission to visit and inspect the situation of where Onandikano is being detained and all going on with him. Human rights said, although it is aware that the DSS has no many uh, occasions to deny this set of allegations made by the legal practitioners and representative of Onandi Kano, however, investigations should be done. The international organization in Nigeria, such as the UN, EU, and World Democrat Crisis, should be at the diplomatic office to ensure that the repre their representatives in Nigeria look into this matter. Honestly, when people are being detained in Nigeria, in Nigeria is the survivor of the fittest, okay? Say you are one person who is soft, who does not, will not get papa, brother. Ah, you will have to pray to God. Oh, God will be here. Eh, if God does not help you, no one can help you. Let's just put it there. Let's, let's make it straight, clear. Okay, let's make it straight. Let's put it, let's, let me, let's state the obvious. Listen, guys, with all that is currently going on, if something does not drastically happen different to alter what we are experiencing things can go from bad to worse we are really praying for the safety of the life of nandi kanu however people need to do more 
we have these organizations, these agencies for a purpose. The UN, the EU, and all these um, commissioners and all that in our in our vicinity in Nigeria, they are all to represent and you know ensure that democratic through democratic processes is being sustained. That's why they are in every country. I am in your country, you are in my country, and we are all in allegiance to this to see to it that there is preservation of lives and we are not maltreating the people. Human rights is being uphold. In Nigeria, we all know how Nandi Kano is being treated. You don't need to get there to know. The way Nandi Kano is being treated, what is his offense, by the way? Nandi Kano is a great offender. Some of his offenses because he does not want his people to be marginalized, treated as outcasts, or behaved to as if they are not part of the nation. You know, people are coming to, the, to that region with impunity. Take for instance, we keep saying this over and over again. And if the Nigerian government wants to dispute it, they need to correct it. Don't tell us, show us. You lead by example, not you do what I say and don't do what I do. It is not tenable it, before it did happen, but now nobody go listen to that nonsense. Show me by example. Yes, show me. You lead and I'll follow. Okay, look at it. Let's look at it together, brothers and sisters. Do you know that in Nigeria today, the first 20, uh, you know, citizens, according to politically speaking, uh, there is no evil, uh, you know, uh, you know, origin from there. It's just that they need to get their own governor. Hence, there is an evil governor in the southeast. They must have House of Representative members. That's why they are in the House of Representative. They must have... You know, they must have, you know, senators from their region representing them. That's why they have those set of people in the Senate. Other than that, Buhari's administration has really undermined, marginalized, okay, the Southeast. Look at the president, the vice president, Senate president, House of Representatives, the chief justice of the nation. Let's look at it together. All the service chiefs. All the political appoint, appoint, appointments in the country. Because if you say, okay, this does not matter. After all, the Igbos are doing well and are thriving. Who is deceiving who here? The person who has the political power has the political strength. That is where the seat of decision is being made. If you like, get all the money. If they make one kind of law, now it will affect you. I bet you don't know. The person when they did the seat of corridor, now they, now they call the shots. If you don't understand that, make you understand that. They call the shots. They can wake up one morning and tell you that if you have over 10, billion, 10 million, this is your whatever. You go grumble, but you go pay the money. It's called the seat of power. Now, so the matter they reach. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless. Bye for now.